was that? Is that a cat? All right, that's actually not the first time this has happened to me. Let's go ahead and rewind and take a look at another job. About a week ago, this cat bolted out from underneath the bed and kind of actually scared me while I was flying. I don't know what it is about cat people, but when you tell people to put their pets in a safe place so you can fly and leave the doors and windows open, they always remember the dogs and never remember that they own a cat. All right, so let's get back to the Avada video. Uh, I was recently hired to take photos and to do a fly through of this property. Nothing super special or unique. I typically use my slammed shin drone squirt to do this type of stuff because I am very familiar with this drone and the way that it flies. I also use the Cinelog 25 with a naked GoPro for a really small compact package. And you know, I'm really familiar with it and I love the way that it flies. So on this job, I was going to use the squirt. And since I just got the Avada, I thought, well, maybe after I get all of my packs done with the squirt, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a couple with the Avada. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final product that I did with the squirt. Like I said, this is my workhorse, what I'm familiar with. I'm just kind of doing some speed ramping through these non-interesting parts. You know, everybody edits a little bit different. Sometimes I do real smooth, slow flying, but on this one, uh, for brevity's sake, I wanted to go ahead and do some uh, time warping through here. So as you can tell, the color looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but I did set the white balance. I locked it into a fixed value. I also used GoPro Labs to allow the shutter speed not to go below the 180 shutter degree rule so you don't get any weird uh, stabilization issues in post-production. And I also set an ISO limit of 400, uh, which gives me a pretty good amount of light. It doesn't look too grainy. I did clean it up a little bit with some noise reduction software. But overall, I think the video turned out pretty good. Definitely not my best work, but I did just want to show the example of this house using a traditional FPV drone and then the Avada side by side. The GoPro transitions really well from indoor to outdoor. I mean, it is, you can see blown out windows and things when you're inside, but that's just the nature of it. Now, before we move on to the Avada footage, if you guys are interested in all the pros and cons of using the traditional Cinewhoop versus using the Avada, check out this other video I made. Okay, so now on to the Avada footage. At first, when I started flying this drone in normal mode, I was a little bit apprehensive about the altitude hold, but it actually worked out pretty good. I'd only flown this drone indoors maybe once or twice. Now, when this cat came in, this messed up my whole flow. It actually came in through that back door and I thought I let a stray into their house. So it kind of threw off my whole vibe for the rest of this flight and I didn't have time to do another one since I'd already ran two packs with the Cinewhoop and I did photography and the client was waiting for me outside. There are some differences here. There's some bobbles and things left and right that I'm not used to. Uh, I would say that half of this is my fault because I'm not used to the sticks on this drone. Uh, I also see some weird flickering sometimes in, in high contrast areas or sharpening areas like the fence right now. You can see some flickering. I don't really like the way that this camera transitions uh, in auto from one space to another as much as I do the GoPro, but that all might get smooth out in a future update. I definitely want to give this drone another try to see how I like it. I need to get a little bit more used to the sticks. I wish DJI would allow us to do some sort of cine mode or something that's on the Mavic where when you're in normal, the sticks are just real smooth and controlled. Now you may have noticed I did not include the basement in the Avada footage. I actually tried to go down there and film it real quick before I left and the drone was acting strange. It was like almost like it was in the wind. I like couldn't get it to calm down. It was pushing itself against this wall. I basically had to put it down on the ground and disarm it. Not quite sure what's up with that. I personally will not be switching over to the Avada for professional fly through or one shot work. Uh, it just doesn't quite meet the standards of what I'm used to with my other drones. It has some great features. I think if there are some firmware updates, some of the issues may get ironed out, but I just wanted to test it and share this with you guys because I know some of you are interested in doing this and you maybe just want to see how it does and it does okay, but this is footage that I've done with the Squirt. It's just so much more refined, tuned in. I know exactly what I'm doing with the camera settings. And like I said, part of that is that the Avada is new and it does need some firmware updates. I will not be making the switch from my traditional FPV drones to the Avada for this type of work, but I do wanna try and squeeze in a few battery packs on each of these jobs that I do, if time is permitting, just so I can refine my skills with it a little bit. And you know, maybe with future firmware updates, things will improve and I feel like it's a better option than using what I'm using now. But as 
of today's date, I'm still gonna be using my traditional FPV drones. I wanna thank you guys for sticking around till the end of the video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already and check out some of my other videos. We will see you in the next one.